Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about something super exciting and definitely something that wasn't on the plans for the videos but you know a lot of people ask me about it and it's kind of just come out of nowhere and it's all very exciting. Uh, so yeah we're going to talk about WoW Dev 3 which is a brand new CDN on the Blizzard servers and what that means, what it could potentially mean and what we're looking at. What is going on here? Why is this so exciting? So yeah of course but before we jump into all of that guys I just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, patch 9.2 PTR, 10.0 beta, WoW Dev 3 all that kind of stuff. I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Okay, so WoW Dev 3. So let's give a little bit of backstory on how this kind of all works to as far as I'm aware. There are much smarter people than me that know a lot more than me, so I'm just kind of going off knowledge that they've shown me in the past. So the way that World of Warcraft works and the way that Blizzard works is that they have a content delivery network. It's called a CDN. Inside of that, they have a bunch of products. So they have, you know, WoW Vendor 2, which is encrypted. They have WoW Vendor, WoW Retail, PTR, and that's how they push builds. So if there's a new retail build, they'll push it through that content delivery network to the Battle.net launcher for example or you can download it through various other means. Battle and Orchard just happens to be a way of, you know, uh, for users to download it. But a lot of these are encrypted, as I mentioned. So WoW Vendor is encrypted, WoW Vendor 2, WoW Dev 1, WoW Dev 2, and now WoW Dev 3 is presumably going to be encrypted too. Now, these content delivery networks don't always have a build inside them. Currently, right now, WoW Dev 3 does not. But each one pretty much has a build. So, for example, let's take a look at WoW Dev. So, WoW Dev currently has a 9.2 build. This is where we first saw 9.2 pop up for the first time. This is one of the... I mean, a lot of this kind of CDN stuff is a lot of speculation because we don't know. We don't work at Blizzard. We don't know the ins and outs. But the speculation is that the WoW Dev build is like the first one that they start, you know, doing stuff with externally, I guess. I, I don't really know. Or share it around more, more on the office and, sh and stuff like that. Obviously, they have internal builds that they don't put on the content delivery network, presumably anyway. Now, WoW Dev 1 is 9.2.0. Now, Wild Dev 2 is Burning Crusade Alpha. This build first popped up and the uh, CDN first popped up back in March 2021, just after the announcement of Burning Crusade Classic, which was patch 2.5, uh, and that kind of came out. And then I think like a couple weeks later, it did come onto the public servers and we were able to download it and play it. And we ended up having Alpha and Beta and all that kind of stuff, which was kind of short, if I remember rightly. It was kind of like not the longest Alpha and Beta in the world, but yeah, this is uh, how that worked. So now what's happened is there's a new one. There's a Wow Dev. 3. And here it is. This is WoW Dev 3 right here on uh, WoW.Tools. Shout out to Marlman for the fantastic work he does. And this popped up on February 15th uh, at 8.10 in the morning. I think that's local time maybe. So that's like maybe after midnight in California. I don't really know. Happy Valentine's Day for that, I guess. So WoW Dev 3, there's a lot of speculation going on here. There is so many things this could potentially be and there is no right answer right now. As of right now, there is no right answer to what this is. But you can take a pretty solid guess, right? Um, so there's a couple things it could be. Number one, 10.0. Patch 10.0. However, pretty unlikely. It's likely if they were going to push 10.0, uh, the next expansion, they would push it to WoW Dev, which seems to be dedicated to retail builds. As you can see here, it's had 9.1.5 and 9.0.5. And if we go back even further, we can see some of the original like Battle for Azeroth builds and things like that and that have been uh, and Legion as you see like 8.0 was on there and etc. So it seems like WoW Dev 1 is pretty much dedicated to retail WoW builds. So presumably if we were to get a 10.0 that would be on WoW Dev 1. Now WoW Dev 2. Now this one looks like it was dedicated to Burning Crusade. Now the first time this popped up on the content delivery network, it was Burning Crusade. It was 2.5, patch 2.5, and since then it's just progressively become 2.5, and I believe even right now, the last build we got on it was 2.5.1, which is it's like uh, one of the phases or something like that. So the best guess that I, and this is what my best guess is right now, is that WoW Dev 3 is going to be patch 3.4, Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Yep, that's my prediction. Now, there is a good chance that within the next day or so, we are going to get a build push to this and we're going to know for sure. If it's 3.4, then that's essentially what we're assuming is going to be Wrath of the Lich King. The patch numbering cycle that Blizzard have been doing for these classic versions is one patch further than the final patch of that expansion. For example, original vanilla ended on 1.12 and then classic was 1.13, whereas TBC ended on 2.4 and, uh, and TBC classic was 2.5. So that's where we're getting the 3.4 because Wrath Lich King ended on 3.3. You following? Okay, sorry. Hopefully that's not too confusing. So yeah, patch 3.4 is potentially going to be the Wrath Lich King patch. And that's what I'm personally speculating and predicting 
is what's going to come on this WoW Dev 3. If it comes tomorrow, it doesn't matter. All it does is confirm that Wrath of the Lich King Classic is going to happen. And let's be honest, it's going to happen. You know, it's not going to be like breaking news. I mean, it will be, but it's still not, you know, going to be like a shock. It'll be like a shock Pikachu. What? They're doing Wrath of the Lich Classic, the most popular WoW expansion in history? Ha! <laughs> no way! So yeah, I reckon that's that. There is other things it could be as well. So as I said, 10.0 could be of a chance of that. It could be um, Wrath of the Lich Classic. It also could be a mobile game. Could be potentially their new mobile game that they said is coming out this year. Could be pushed to the CDN. I don't really know the internal workings of how mobile games work. Because I don't think there's a CDN for the Armory app. So I have no idea. I'm not a developer. I'm just a speculating YouTuber. So yeah, that's basically all I can kind of ramble on about. As I said, this just popped up. This is kind of breaking news. A lot of people asking me about this. So my prediction right now is WoW Dev 3 is Raffletchy Classic. We'll see. We'll definitely see. We're just reaching tier 6 of TBC. We still have two more phases left of that expansion. Then we're going to be looking at Wrath of the Gene Classic. But there could be some early signs of it popping up. Potentially, I don't know. It's it's fun to speculate. It's fun, I think. Yeah. So guys, let me know down below what you think WoW Dev 3 is. If you're going off kind of Blizzard and how they work internally and how you can speculate how they work internally, it looks like this is going to be uh, what that is. But... I'd love to know what you guys think, and I'd love to know with some theories and stuff like that down in the comment section. This is a fun little thing to speculate about, and uh, yeah, very, very exciting times ahead, hopefully. Because I absolutely love Wrath Lich King. As you can see, here it is. Arthur's come back to me. Hopefully soon. We'll see what happens. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, Links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, patch 9.2 PTR, 10.0 Wrath of the Lich King Classic Alpha Beta, who knows? I'm over on twitch.tv slash And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.